during our Houston food tour, we yeah. were going to finish off our trip with a bubble tea. But then we realized how expensive it was. So we decided to make our own since we're plebes. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle, Lifestyle of the Plebe, Plebe and Nameless. We wanted to show you how to make three of the most popular bubble tea trends out there that are delicious and healthier than you would get in the store because you can put less sugar and different types of milk. Or if you're weak, you can add even more sugar. <laughs> but today we're gonna have the brown sugar milk tea, which is the most popular one nowadays. And we got the taro, which is my personal favorite. Mine too. And look, I, I made my eyeshadow match my favorite milk tea. Okay, fine, you win. <laughs> and then the third one that we're gonna make, which you guys chose for us on Instagram, is the green tea matcha flavored. By the way, if you haven't seen our Houston food tour video, we'll link it right here above my head so you can check it out. Without further ado, we're gonna get started. To make bubble tea, you must buy bubbles. So these are tapioca pearls that we picked up from H Mart while we are in Houston the other day. These are ready in five minute tapioca pearls. You can also get these on Amazon or even like a different brand and just follow the instructions as to how long you should cook them. I personally like to have them more soft, so I would cook like five minutes in additional to what is recommended. But if you like something that's more chewy, you could cook it for whatever is recommended on here. We'll link all the ingredients in our description box below. To get started, we will be boiling the tapioca pearls first. You'll need about a quarter cup of tapioca for each drink. We're gonna boil this for about five minutes, and then later on, we're gonna cook it in brown sugar. Make sure you stir it occasionally so the bubbles don't stick to the bottom of the pan. It's been a little bit over five minutes, so our tapioca pearls are good to go right now. Get you a bowl of cold water, and take out your tapioca pearls and put it in the cold water so that it stops cooking. Now we're gonna make the brown sugar syrup for our tapioca pearls and for the brown sugar milk boba tea. We're gonna use about a third of a cup for each drink. Heat it up a little bit on low heat setting so that it gives it a little bit of a caramelized flavor. We're gonna do this for like about a minute. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water. We bring it to a short boil, turn off the heat, put the tapioca pearls back in there. Now we're gonna turn the heat back on and we're gonna cook the tapioca pearls and the brown sugar syrup for about another three to five minutes. The bubbles should be done right now. I'ma scoop it out of the brown sugar syrup and set the bubbles aside for our bubble tea drinks and then we'll let the brown sugar syrup cool so that it's ready to make our brown sugar boba milk tea. Let's go over our ingredients for the taro bubble tea. You will need taro, but fresh root taros that you get from the supermarket, it's a lot of work to prepare. And if you handle that with your bare hands, it's very sticky and all of the juice from the taro will make your skin itch. So if you do that, make sure you use gloves. A better way to get taro is to buy them already frozen. In Asian supermarkets, you can often find taro that's already cooked and frozen. You can just buy that home, store it in your freezer, and whenever you're ready to use it, you can just cook them in hot water. And as a last resort, there's always taro powder that you can purchase online and have it shipped to your house. Today, we're gonna use frozen taro. These are from fresh taros that I got a while back. We cut them up and then we sort them in the freezer. To add a little bit more of a purple color, I'm also using a purple sweet potato powder that I purchased online. And we're gonna be adding this to our taro drink to make it look purple and pretty. Make sure you have sugar handy. And you will need some milk. We have whole milk here, but you can use the milk of your choice. First, we're gonna cook the taro. I have about a cup of taro, and you can add more if you want a more concentrated flavor. So we have a pot of boiling water, and we're just gonna cook it in here. We're gonna boil it for like about 15 minutes or until it's soft. So I'll come back regularly to check. To tell if it's ready, just poke a chopstick or a fork through your taro, and if it sticks through softly, that means it's ready. So right now, we're gonna make the taro base. We just cooked these, so I'm just gonna mash it a little bit so it's easy on the blender. And now I'm gonna dump this in here. I'm adding just a tiny bit of warm water so that it'll melt the sugar. We're gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon of purple sweet potato powder. And then a quarter cup of milk. Blend until smooth. 
now that it's partially smooth, I'm going to add the rest of the milk in there. A quarter cup of tapioca pearls. The milk really could have been added all at once, but for those who prefer a tea base, you can add tea instead of milk during the second blend. Add ice to enjoy. For the green tea matcha, we will be using a pack of green tea, matcha powder, and sugar, and milk. We're gonna use a teaspoon of green tea leaves and about a quarter cup of water so it makes a concentrated tea. Our green tea has been steeping for a few minutes, so it's now ready. Add a tablespoon of matcha powder to this. And sugar to taste. I'm putting about a tablespoon. Stir, stir, stir. With our tapioca pearls, you put about a quarter cup of tapioca pearls. Pour your green tea mixture in. You add the milk. And finally, we add some ice. For the brown sugar bubble tea, we'll be using brown sugar and milk. No tea? No, you don't use tea for that. What? That's so weird. It's only brown sugar and milk. Oh. It's actually a very simple recipe. We'll show you how to make it. Okay. Now we're gonna make the brown sugar mixture. So I actually let the brown sugar cook on the stove for a little bit longer so that I can get a good and nice sticky consistency. You want the viscosity to be about this much so that whenever you put it in the cup, it clings on to the wall of the cup. So you get that tiger looking stripes. And whenever you cook this, make sure you stand by the stove because the sugar can bubble up and pass the height of your pot. Hey guys, we just wanted to drop in and announce that we have finally reached 50 subscribers. Yay! Thank you guys so much. This could not have happened without your support. Since we reached that goal, first of all, Joan is going to be running her 5k challenge just like she promised. So that will be coming up in a future video. I'm going to keep my promise, guys. I'm going to make her. Don't worry. Stay tuned. So you don't miss me dying from running five miles. Run, run, run. Our next goal is 100 subscribers. And for that, we want to do a 100 subscriber giveaway. Yay! So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bells so you don't miss it whenever we hit our milestone and make our giveaway announcement. Because you guys are our loyal subscribers and we want to give back to you guys who have been with us since the beginning. And thank you guys again for subscribing to our channel. Your support means so much to us. Here's to a great 2022. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, guys! So we got our cup, put a quarter cup of tapioca pearls, and now for the artistic section. We're going to make the tiger stripes on the brown sugar boba milk. The brown sugar syrup that you made, it's been thickening as it cools. We're gonna put it in here and then we're just gonna drizzle it on the side of the cup. Sorry, not too artistic, but this is what I got. Now we add the milk. And there you have it, brown sugar boba milk. For our final step, you add the ice. So now taste testing time. I got the taro because it's my favorite. Brown sugar. Mm. It's really good. And because we made the brown sugar syrup for the tapioca to cook in for a few minutes, the tapioca is actually tastier than you would get in the store because now it has a sweetness to it instead of no flavor. In my brown sugar milk bubble tea, like I adjusted the sweetness to the amount that I like so it's not too, too sweet. This is like a really simple drink to make, but if you go and get it at the store, there's like a whole line for it. It costs you like six, seven bucks for it, but it's so simple to make at home. Mm. And the green tea matcha tastes really healthy. You feel less guilty because the green tea has antioxidants in it. 
And just the green color itself just makes you feel like in your head that it's healthier. <laughs> Y'all should really try this at home. It's really simple to make and we have the ingredients and recipe down in the description box below. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you give us a thumbs up and like this video. And if it's your first time here, welcome to the Plea family. Make sure you subscribe down below so you can watch future videos from us. And make sure you turn on the notification button so you get all of our updates. If you watch till the end of this video, leave a bubble tea emoji in our comments so that we know. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time on Lifestyle, lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. A lifestyle deserving acknowledgement. Bye. Bye. Someone ate my whole milk. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. Did you tell him not Oh, to just me? kidding. I, I took it out. <laughs> you guys, I just tasted the green tea matcha bubble tea. And it's salty. This girl trying to prank me. Make sure you have sugar handy. Sugar handy? I, I can't read Chinese. Apparently this is labeled salt and I thought it was sugar. She gave me salt to put in my bubble tea. What the heck? I'm sorry. It's so <laughs> salty. I'm sorry. We're going to have to remake that one. Yeah. <laughs>